Alright everybody, welcome on board. We are uh, on descent into Baton Rouge, final descent now, we're 15,000 feet descending. Looks like the weather's pretty low right now, it's 300 overcast, 2 mile visibility. Figured I'd bring you guys in for a good instrument approach here. Let's check in with the uh, Baton Rouge approach. Approach, 4 flight 471, 15,200, descending 11,000 Zulu. 471 Baton Rouge approach, Roger. Uh, current uh, last pyre up here at Baton Rouge. Uh, space is around two to three hundred feet. Tops around two thousand four hundred. Uh, you want to stick with the RNAV one three. You want to try the ILS two two right. Uh, we'll go with the ILS two two right. If that's all right. Flight four seventy one. Not a problem. Fly heading one five zero. Vector for the ILS runway two two right approach. Descend maintain two thousand. Heading one five zero. Descend and maintain two thousand. Four flight four seventy one. And just out of curiosity, what runway did that last uh, person get in on? Well, four seven one. That was a departure off runway four left. Roger, thank you. Let's reset this. We were doing the RNAV one three. We're doing nine hundred contact uh, Houston Center. One two. To do the ILS two G right. It's got slightly four, lower two, minimums four, eight, visibility eight, wise. Four, nine, All right. Let's brief this up together. Verify the waypoints. We've got that computer fix there. Furnos, the final approach fix, out or above 1800. Coming down to runway 2G right. Minimums are 270. They're posted. <coughs> Should see a Mosser Pappy on the left. If we have to miss, straight out 600. Climbing right turn. 2000 direct to LSU. And hold. Teardrop or parallel, however they say. Now we'll look at this. We've got the weather. Well, with approach. Tower will be next. 1845. I'll put that in. I have ground already in there. Localizer will auto tune. Final approach course will be 223. Glide slope intercept, like we said, is Ferno at or above 1800. Coming down to 200 feet above the ground, we need 1800 RVR. None of the notes apply to us. Highest obstacle is 592 on the other side of the approach course. Not really a problem for us. MSA on our side is 1900. Like I said, we'll intercept the glide slope somewhere outside of Ferno. Come down to 270 feet. Should see the ball sir, Pappy on the left. If we have to miss, once again, it's straight out 600. Climbing right turn 2000, direct to Fighting Tiger and hold. We got plenty of fuel, so we'll uh, see what's going on with it if we do miss. This is uh, pretty typical weather down here in Louisiana for the winter time, where it's uh, kind of fogged in down low. Figured you guys might want to come along and see this. Apologize for the way I sound. The trees are starting to bloom in Arkansas right now, so my allergies are telling me all about it. Approach checks. Landing data is confirmed and posted. Crew briefing. It's the ILS runway 22. We all briefed it together. Fuel transfers off. Exterior lights are on. Seatbelt sign. I'll go ahead and turn that on. Passenger briefing. They all look good back there. Belt harnesses good on the left. Messages are checked. Pressurization is working down. Approach checks are complete. Sounds like we're the first to come in today. Not necessarily a good thing. As you heard, approach said the de last departure kind of estimated the top or the basis to be between 200 to 300. 200 is the minimums. Currently, the uh, METAR is saying uh, two statue mile visibility and overcast at 300. Flight 471, Niner miles from Ferno, turn right heading 190, maintain 2000 until established on the localizer, cleared ILS runway 22 right approach. Heading 190, 2000 until established, cleared for the ILS 22 right, for flight 471. <coughs> for flight 471, tops are 3100 now. Flight 471, copy all, thank you. All right, temperature's good. We do not need anti-ice. Lokes alive from the left. <coughs> Speed checks. Laps 15 are selected. Lok captured. All right, there's 2,000 altitude capture. We'll just stay here till we get the glide slope. Flight 471, contact tower 118.45. Good morning. 1845, four flight 471. Good night. Baton Rouge Tower, 4 flight 471, ILS 2G right. 
Force Flight 471, Baton Rouge Tower, wind 120 at 6, runway 22 right, clear to land. 22 right, clear to land, Force Flight 471. All right, we're two miles prior to the final approach fix. I'm going to go ahead and go gear down and slow to our flap speed. Gears down, three green, no red. Before landing, gears down, three green, no red. Flaps are at 15, about to come to 35. There's the speed. Flaps 35 selected. Speed brakes are attracted. Air speeds are posted. Autopilot yacht amp to go. Five slopes captured. Missed approach altitude of 2,000 is set. If we have to miss, we're going to go straight out to 600 feet, then a climbing right turn to 2,000. And since we're going to minimums today, I'm going to leave the autopilot on. That way I can use an extra set of eyes to look outside while the autopilot flies the airplane. thousand of minimums and we're stable Five hundred to minimums, still stable. One last wipe on the windshield here. Five hundred. Three green, no red, flaps full, we're clear to land. The four landings are complete pending the autopilot yacht amp. to minimums. Approach lights are in sight. We're going to continue. Autopilot Auto and fair away. Four landings complete. Threshold and runway are in sight. We're landing. Minimums. Minimums. We are stable. Fourth flight 471 when able stay parking. BTR jet can't quite make Bravo. Fourth flight 471, no worries. You can turn left taxiway Quebec, taxi to the jet center via Lima Echo Foxtrot cross runway 13. Quebec, Lima Echo Foxtrot cross runway 13, fourth flight 471. Well, there you go, everybody. Thanks for coming along. That was pretty low. I'd say, uh, without reviewing the tape, I'd say we broke out probably 100 feet above minimums. It is pretty foggy. Hopefully you can see the approach lights, the monster, the rabbit, the lead-in lights really help quite a bit. Picking up what's going on. So you can get the runway in sight. And that's exactly what we use today. Yeah, you can see out it is pretty darn foggy. Anyways, thank you all for riding along. If you like this video, make sure you uh, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, ring the bell so you get notified when we post again, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.